Hello and welcome to Thought for March the 3rd. Our readings are taken from Leviticus chapter 8, Psalm 107 and 1 Corinthians chapter 16. And our thought is, let them thank the Lord. Four times in our Psalms reading today, Psalm 107, we come to a verse that requests a certain action. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love for his wondrous works to the children of men. We see this in verse 8 and repeated in verses 15, 21 and 31. Then the psalm ends with the statement, Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. So, in being wise, we get our minds to understand and appreciate the actions of the Lord in attending to or responding to the actions or inaction of human beings in the way they live their lives in the sight of God, whether they see their Creator or they blindfold themselves or are simply indifferent toward Him. When you think about it, there are clear comparisons to that of children toward their parents as they grow up. And of course, there is often considerable failure especially in these days in the wisdom of human parents in the way they train their children. But we are dealing with the wonderful divine parent. Isn't this the reason why we call him our heavenly father? Verse 17 states, Some were fools through their sinful ways, and because of their iniquities suffered affliction. We can see parallels in these words with life today. Our world has totally ceased to look to God's word. They have more or less abandoned belief in him, and so the time will come, as verses 26 and 27 tells us, when their courage melted away in their evil plight. They reeled and staggered like drunken men and were at their wit's end. This is the spirit that is starting to swamp our world more and more. With what astonishment will the world see divine action taking place to prevent humans from destroying God's creation and, in the process, themselves? The prophets warn of God's ultimate actions. For example, through Jeremiah, he speaks of the time coming when the Lord has an indictment against the nations. He is entering into judgment with all flesh. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, disaster is going forth from nation to nation. Chapter 25, verses 31 and 32. At that time, as verse 42 of our psalm states, The upright see it and are glad, and all wickedness shuts its mouth. Let us make sure we are among those who thank the Lord for his wondrous works in bringing peace out of utter chaos. Well, thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.